This video is about don't do, don't make mistakes. And I'm going to highlight 12 of them. And these are not don't wear flip-flops during uh, a collapse. These are hard-hitting, bare-knuckle bare type mistakes. I'm sorry for that, but it's just reality. Stay with me and listen through the 12 mistakes. And if you've got some to add, make some comments. You want to make decisions while you're calm and where you've pre-planned to the situation, where you're making decisions with discretion and deliberate. Now, what is the first mistake? Well, as illustrated in Into the Forest, a movie put out by 2015, don't get drunk. Now, I understand that you might want to have a beer or a shot of Bergen to release the stress, but don't get commode hugging drunk or passed out because then you will be good to no one and you will have totally lost control of anything that you have with the situation. Number two is somewhat similar. Don't get high, not on the devil's lettuce, cocaine, meth, whatever. You've got to be where you can think straight. And don't let anybody in your group do that. Number three is be careful with your tools. Once again, in the movie Into the Forest, I don't want to give a spoiler alert, but one of the characters uh, makes a grave mistake while using a chainsaw. And as we see here from this little video, he has no eye protection. He has no gloves on. He has no chainsaw chaps. When uh, the world is turned upside down, there's no time to be finding an eye doctor. Number four, with great sensitivity and respect, don't have an unplanned pregnancy. Um, that can be quite complex. And once again, when sugar has hit the fan, it's not the time to, uh, to be adding to... Uh, the complexity. Number five is don't separate. Now sometimes your group may have individuals or small groups that seemingly have good logic. They want to go to a relative's house that seemingly is more uh, safer or they want to go on a long range patrol. No, stay together. There's strength in numbers. No man, woman, or child should be left alone. Number six, don't get dirty. Have a means to keep yourself washed, uh, dental care taken care of, having grooming products to take care of your uh, facial and body hair, your, your hair. Uh, if you don't, it invites all sorts of skin rashes, skin diseases. And who wants to, to ally up with somebody that looks totally gnarly? Seven, don't broadcast what supplies and gear you have. Otherwise, someone may just decide to take it away from you. Number eight, limit your movements. When you're at your house, your apartment, your cabin, you know the interior, you know the surrounding land. The odds favor the defender. When you're on the move, you can easily be ambushed. So limit movement of the group and individuals outside of your immediate area until you know that things are relatively safe. Number nine, don't depend on high tech. Now I'm not saying don't have a GPS or have a generator or a mobile hot water heater, but be prepared for those to fail for you and have some sort of 1800s pioneer type backup to provide you the same functionality. Number 10 is stay to your training. Now in the Navy, I'm saying train like you're gonna fight and fight like you trained. Another way to view it is train like you're gonna live and live like you trained. Number 11, don't start stealing. Now you might wanna think of it as resupplying or replenishment 
But when there was rule of law, it was stealing. And the problem with that, it's a good way to get a bullet in your butt. And finally, number 12, about guns. Now, I'm all for having a concealed legal weapon and having a long rifle or a shotgun at close quarters, perhaps covered up. But waving your guns around is an invitation to trouble. And actually itching to get in a gunfight is a good way to die. If you study the OK Corral gunfight, you'll find the losers, for the most part, ended up in the cemetery. And the victors ended up being treated with 1,800-type medicine. How much fun could that have been? So, in conclusion, if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe. It helps the channel. It helps the community. Be prepared.